Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Night Witches. So we've got a couple of things we've got to do today. The first thing we want to do is look at the barracks because... Dun dun dun, Baba Yaga has the ability to take Warlord finally, so we're going to do that. Alright, nice. Training complete. Um, and Megasaur here. I'm just going to go through the pilots real quick to see if we got anything we can add on. Red Comet. We could go for Overheat Threshold, but I think we're going to save this for some gunnery. Uh, Satori, we'll just leave for now. Uh, Sunflower, um, let's... Hmm. I think we want to leave this off. We're going to go We're going to go for uh, gunnery. We should be able to get it after a mission or so. So let's go for that. Alright, so the next thing we want to do... Um, mech bays. Uh, so our crab is not quite ready to go yet. I'll have a look at the timings here. So we've got 29 days. So what I want to do is I want to pull off a tough mission first today. Uh, we've got enough sea bills. I sold a bunch of crap. We've got enough sea bills to make our financial report and then some. So what I want to do is um, take a tough mission today. Uh, start off with that. See how it goes. And then maybe just uh, wait till the crab is back and then run a mission with the crab and see how that goes. So let's go to the contracts. Kind of isolated the one I want to start with today. I'm going to try a Brilliant Minds contract. It's uh, basically rescuing a... Um, a scientist in a facility. So we're going to try this one. I don't know how we're going to do on it. 417. We're going to negotiate and take full salvage. I'm hoping we pick up some good mech parts on this one. Uh, actually, before we start, let's have a look once again in the mech base. Let's go to the storage. I just want to see where we're close with stuff again. Uh, so let's have a look at medium mechs because mostly we'll be facing mediums, I would imagine. So we've got three Vindicator parts. Uh, so the Bushwhackers, um, we've got a bunch of Bushwhacker parts, but some of these... They say Bushwhacker, but I'm not sure. This is X1, X2. Um, and we've got an amp we got one ambusher part here. Um, so we've got a bunch we've got four gorilla parts. Um, bushwhacker pirate, we got three parts. So if the if bushwhackers were possible to get by mixing them together. I think probably the letter afterwards is the most important thing because there's the X2, the X1, and then down here we've got this one, the pirate version. So that's like eight parts. So they obviously can't mix. There's, there's an S2 here. So they can't mix. So we get to kind of figure out what we're going to do. Shadowhawk 1R, we got three there. And we got four, I think, Shadow Park, Shadowhawk parts up here, or maybe three, three. 5S. So we're pretty close. Shadowhawks, Bushwhackers, we're looking for Wolverine Q um, plus Wolverine R parts. It's like six there. Um, so we've got a bunch of stuff that one well, there's a 6M part down here. So we're pretty close on a lot of things. Vindicator, I think we've got four parts of a Vindicator now. Um, and then Heavy, we've only got three Dragon parts. Assault, we've got uh, a Charger part. And then lights, not, I don't really care about right now, but uh, we're trying to move up. So let's take our guys here. Um, I want to see how that crab's going to work out, but we'll do that in a moment. And let's go rescue our scientist. All right, full salvage. Standard Lance. We're going to take the fire starter with us today. Uh, we are in the Badlands, so it's going to work for overheating max. I'm hoping we can find some good stuff and keep it tied up while we kill everything else and then we can take it down. All right, so let's deploy and get this done. Mm, yeah, you say that. Maybe he's right this time. I don't know, but let's try it. All right. Right, in and out mission. Okay. A couple of ways we can hit this place. Um, you can come down through here and kind of smash through here if you want. Um, I'm going to move up around this way, I think. There's lots more cover over here. And since we don't know what we're really facing yet, I think it's better to do that. So let's get right up here. Yeah, I can't believe we took off the leg of that... Uh, the butcher last time with the uh, with the tagger. That's awesome. I've been waiting to kill a mech with a tag for a long time, waiting for orders. and we were able to finally do it. So that was awesome. Going full throttle. It's kind of a cheat though. That was a tagger, so I mean it did a little more more damage, but still, it's still a tag. Confirmed. God, I love the speed of this lance. 
All right. Nothing yet. Okay. Okay, what do we got here? Orion. Ooh, okay. I should be expecting heavies, so. Um. We need to lure them out if we can. It's kind of bad positioning. Keep these guys together. Get Sunflower to do some luring. Yes, Commander. No shooting. Okay. Oh, we got a vehicle, which is out of range. Pegasus 35. Gungnir. I know we've been Gungnir. We've seen one of these before. I can't remember the weight though. All right. It's gonna reserve and reserve again and reserve again. Do they not see us? Well, let's move into ambush position here. Acknowledged. Well, a little closer to ambush position. It's hoping to get some shots off, but that's likely not gonna happen. Commander. I don't know if they see us. They will after I shoot them, though. On my way. Double time. Oh, we got another blip here. What's up here? Galleon. So they're most likely going to have reinforcements, I would imagine. I don't even know what you shot at, dude. I have no idea what you shot at. Two ER mediums and a tag. Let's fire. Well, at least we hit the tag. Um, did we go in and try and take a couple of open shots and that free shots on the Orion? Or do we... I don't think so. I think we want to try and take this vehicle and pull the Orion out. I know we would get a, um... 75 ton... It's a Marauder. Okay. Um, I know we'd get a couple of open shots on it, but then we'd be shot up by a lot of people, so... It's better off not taking that chance. Okay. Hmm. I think we want to lure the Orion out more than anything. So let's do this. This. And let's not burn ourselves up. Let's leave these off for now. And fire these. Wow, that was awful. I'm receiving you. Um receiving you. We're not gonna be able to kill this guy. Well at least we got with the tag again. Most okay. important thing. Let's not get you into a position where you can be shot. You're really light. Yeah, it'll be nice if we can remove the fire starter, I think. I was hoping to have that Pegasus gone so we could focus fire the Orion, but I don't think that's going to happen. <clears throat> I mean, we could squash it with the with uh, Megasaur, but I think we should really go after the Orion. Come on, guys. Reason it out. Okay, some chance for some pulse lasers. Once we squash that guy, that is. Come on. Hit and run. Comes the Orion. 
Whew. Yep, he's in killing range now. Yes, Commander. Let's light him up. That will block the door. So let's get over here. Not quite the perfect range, but good enough. Let's light him up. Firing. Tagged, all of them hit. He's nice and toasty now. Um, I really like Megasaur to gone first, but I think we want to stay on the same side. So let's do that. I think these AC's on the other side. No, his missiles are on the other side, right? Can't remember now. I think the I think the I thought the missiles were in the uh, right arm. Anyway, we're just gonna fire at this guy's side. Let's kind of weaken him, weaken him a little bit here. Get back up, Baba Yaga up here. And let's hammer the message home with everything. Okay. <laughs> He's packing up. You chicken. Comes to Pegasus. What's up, Where are my horns at? Down, 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 down. Now, do we want to hit the side? I think we're going to knock him down pretty much whatever we do. So let's come from the front. Uh, let's boomstick it up. And let's put this guy on his ass. Well, that looked like a leg hit to me. There's the knockdown. It's a lot of sevens. Let's sing a song about seven. He's not having a good day. Two of four health. It's almost done in here. So it was a leg punch. Maybe we can get both legs in this guy. I'm more so worried about survivability with two heavy mechs at this point. I would like to make sure that they go down. Because there might be an, there might be um, reinforcements. So I want to push into the base this next turn. See what this guy moves to. Hopefully he shuts down. Make my job a little easier. He's going to turn his other side to us. Yep. Okay. Is this enough of a move? It has to be, unfortunately. So let's come in from the side and attack. Targeting for physical attack. Let's make him unstable. This guy's totally crapping his pants. I don't blame you, buddy. I'd be crapping my pants too. So let's shut him down. Uh, we're going to do an offensive push on this shutdown. I'm going to go after the leg and fire. Roger. Right torso. All we got to do is knock him down now. How much do you... Wow, he's a stick. 80 in that leg. A little more in that one. He's got no weapons. So let's get Baba Yaga up. Um, this is probably not the best move to do, but we're going to move up here. And I'm going to turn off all the SRMs. We're going to hit go after that leg. He shut down, so we don't have to worry about targeting. But we're going to go for the leg and fire. Okay, there's the leg. He's going to go down. Oh, he bailed. All right. So let's engage um, with the vehicle here from the flank. Maybe we can force him to run away. We're just crushing this place. Sorry, guys. Uh, we, we're just here to rescue somebody. Apologize to anybody we've killed in the buildings. All right, so let's uh, right wrong. We got on the wrong side here, but hopefully we hit the front. And yeah, not bloody likely. Oh, we got the vehicle though. Okay, good work. Two down. Two down. 
Ooh. Somebody's going to get overheated next turn. So he's got a Goss and two lasers. I have no idea what they are. Ah, uh, moderate armor. Moderate. Looks like he's got lower internal structure. Looks that way. Yeah, eight points in the head. Forty. In, he's got lower internal structure for a 75 ton mech. So he's got some kind of armor going on. All right, Sunflower, let's get you... Um, I think we want to we want to come from it's going to be harder on this side though there's more places to hit him on the side over here let's come back here you got well better shots from here so let's move into here won't be able to use everything but we are going to start targeting the leg here right away now that things are a little more relaxed um we can fire everything so i think um no let's go with everything Okay, half decent start. Actually, a really damn good start. Um, Yags, let's get up here. And we're going to do the same thing. And I'm in the base. I didn't really want to do that, but I'm here now. No, I'm through. Yeah, I didn't think I was in. Um, I'm going to OP this guy's leg. And I think we will go with the accuracy ammo, SRM6 for increased damage. Um, that's really low chances to hit. So let's, well, we can't go with everything, can we? Let's just go with these. Okay, there's the leg. God, that hollow sound is so amazing. Let's invite this guy to the barbecue. Okay, everything for this leg. And do we hit the head? I guess we did get a head hit. Unless that was a head hit on the way down. So only got one wound, so um, let's just go for the leg. Right. Two of four, so we got a head hit. Okay, nice. Mm-hmm. Light damage, Commander. So he's at two of four now. Commander. Understood. Since I don't want to um Fast. don't want to destroy too many components on this guy. Um Still got lots of armor. Let's shoot for the head. Maybe we get lucky. Fire everything. Nope. Surprised he's not panicking though. He's only lost one leg. Hasn't lost any uh, components or anything. So, gotta use more than that, dude. Well, I guess you can't. I guess you're like really overheated here. Let's get right in this guy here. Barbecue and leg, please. Yes, Commander. Move order received. Okay, only the pulses on this one. Once again, let's go after the leg. This guy's just a sitting duck now. And fire. Oh, that should do it. Yep. There we go. Hope we can salvage that. Yeah, me too. Standing by. Let's go chase this vehicle down. Copy that. I don't think we're going to get reinforcements. Now that I've said that. Babi Yaga still has to go, so we'll see what happens. He's opening himself up to be stepped on. Let Megasaur finish that up next turn. Moonwalk back into here. Sure is. 
Hunkering um, down. All right, but I'm ready to go. Yeah, so are we. Oh, he's going first. Come on. Just in case. Wow, that's a full sprint up this hill, really? I can go this far over here. And only this far up the hill? I guess I'm running through the building, it's making it slower? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, we should be able to do this guy in. Let's get him from the front. Hopefully the engine's in the back and attack. Oh, he's got lots of armor. It's a lot of misses. Let's go and see if we can get this guy. Tired of waiting. Okay, he's tagged. This is not a hill. How do you you put a road here? You put a, you put a road. That's not fair. They gotta fix that. Why is there a road there that you can't get up? For Come on. Go. <laughs> Get right on him. <laughs> Just stand right on him and squash him. Here's a present for you. Reporting. All right, let's go home. All right, two and a half scout missile missile bleh, mission. One hundred and sixteen thousand. So we did we did pretty well. We didn't take any damage. I'm not even going to bother looking. 1400 experience that's awesome uh good chance for some parts up there heavy goss rifle oh, okay heavy ppcs no wonder he wasn't shooting these are 10 tons how much does this thing weigh 18 yeah i'll have to remember that next time i was fighting that guy like he wasn't really anything <laughs> and i'm thinking he could have just wiped us out uh c3 systems there XL engine, we could take that for cash. Um, gyros, double stabilization. Entrenchment walking. Stability damage taken. Stability, that's not bad. Uh, heat sink prototype, so that's a heat sink kit prototype. So apparently these are the best way to go. Um, let's grab that for a second. Weapon mounts, ooh. There's no heavy goss ammo? That almost kind of invalidates taking this. Like, I guess the Goss ammo must have been in the leg? Where's the Goss ammo? Ah. Uh, weapon mounts, double heat sinks. Be nice to have a few of these weapon mounts. Because we can put those in immediate use, I think. Um, uh, once again, got to think about what we're going to take here. I had nothing really planned going in, so it's not like... Although I think probably what we should do... Um, is grab those proto-double heat sinks. So apparently the best way to go in later game is to have prototype uh, double heatsink kits and prototype heatsinks is the best way to reduce your uh, heat generation. So just keep that in mind. So if you come across them, it's a good idea to pick some up as you're going along, uh, or so I've been told. So I'm going to be taking a few of those. Uh, do we want the cash? Not really. Not for that. I think the weapon mount's a better choice at this point. The C3 would be nice, but... It's also going to start eating up uh, weight. <sighs> hmm. 
medium pulse lasers. Let's just go this route. So one, two, three, four Gungnir parts. Nice. An Orion part, BR medium laser. We did get the heavy cost rifle after all, heavy PPC. We got both medium pulses, the streak. UAV. That's we got we did actually made out really well on this one. I'm actually kind of shocked. That's a pretty darn good roll there. But then again, we had a we had a really good uh, um, salvage potential. So we are surrounded. All right, five thousand two days for repairs. That's pretty good for a three and a half skull mission, I have to say. Uh, let's get our actually. Let's have a look here first. I want to have a look at the Wolverine real quick. Um, see if we can get that proto double heatsink kit in here. It's running really hot on the. Uh, Desert, desert and barren environments. Um, just for a laugh, I want to do this, and this, and this, and then go... Actually, I should, should check here real quick. Let's just put these back in. So with what we have, 89.83. Because we got the mask, we're increasing our uh, weapons heat generated by 20%. So, let's have a look. Prototype double heat sinks. Heat sink. Uh, where is the... That's the double heat sinks. Where's the... Oh, here's the kit. Um, let's drop that in. And then two proto double heat sinks. Just for the sake of argument. 6361. And we were 89, 89, 83, I think, or something like that. Not that much difference. It is generating a lot less weapon heat. Um, if we want to go this route, that's a possibility. Um, two days and 10,000 is really nothing. Really nothing. How much heat? Maximum overheat, overheat threshold. So that's a big deal too. Pressurized coolant will explode for 40 heat damage and stability. Same with this. So we want to keep both of these in here, protected by the case. Um, got an XL gyro too. But we can't drop it in because we have to pull something out of the CT. Uh, let's just go back to how we had it for now. This is definitely a possibility for the future. Um, it's actually a huge possibility for the future. I wonder though if we can... What, what are our cores like here? Just thinking if we can make this a faster strike mech. We need like a 250 core or 260 to lower the weight slightly. So let's look for those. We'd still be pretty fast. Um, what if we swap out for a Clan XL instead? It's a million. Yeah, cause that's super cheap. Um, okay, let's leave it this way for now. Yeah, let's leave it this way for now. We can't do much about it. So let's confirm that. Oh, let's just leave this. Okay, let's get our crab back and get into another battle. So we'll just fast forward our timeline here. Get our crew back. Ready to go over financials whenever you are. We'll accept that financial report. Thank you. Upgraded lounge coming up soon. Festival of lights. Let's do that. Increase morale. Nice. See if we can get out of this dis discouraged area here. All right, crab coming up. So I hope we f hope this next mission we can face some medium max. So. It's always top notch work. All right, so we got steady morale right now. Not bad. Okay, so let's take another. Um, look at our mech warriors. I don't think there's anything else to comment. Yeah, we've got enough for more gunnery, so let's confirm her. 
because we're going to put her in the crab, so I want to have more gunnery. Uh, and sunflower, definitely more gunnery. Let's go that route. Cool, so that's going to help out. All right, so uh, let's go for contracts. Another three and a half skull. So we have uh, Lost Air and Secure the Assets was an escort mission. Let's take Lost Air. Um, it's basically another uh, recovery mission, which we shouldn't have a problem doing. Uh, yeah, so let's negotiate this. Full salvage, of course, because we're doing really well. And we got a problem with the crap. What's the problem? Oh, I think it's because we're underweight, but just let's double check here. I think we're underweight by like... I just want to double check. Sorry, guys. I'm pretty sure that's what we did last time. Ammunition. What? One or more weapons that require ammo. We forgot to put machine gun ammo in. No, we got machine gun ammo. Plasma cannon has got plasma ammo. SRM-6s have got SRM ammo. So what are we missing? Um, carrying ammo that it cannot use. The plasma ammo? Uses plasma am ammo. Uses Gauss ammo bins, but it says it uses pl plasma ammo. Um, what? I don't... Oh, you know what? We need heavy machine gun ammo. That's what I'm missing. Um, yeah. That would make perfect sense. We only got a half load of heavy ammo. Damn it. Curse you guys for changing up the ammo, man. Um... Curse me for not looking. So let's have a look then. Ballistic. What can we put in this guy instead? Um, what do we got? Got two re regular machine gun arrays. Uses machine gun ammo. 2.5 tons. So we're going to be over by half a ton. Um, doesn't quite have the same punch as this. But we're going to have to find. Uh, yeah. We're going to have to find some heavy ammo. Heavy machine gun inferno ammo. Gotta check the store real quick. I doubt we have any in the store. I'm noticing ammo is really scarce here. Half loads of heavy machine gun ammo. Um. New equipment available. Let's buy them both. I'll tell you what. Let's do this. Let's leave the pirate heavy machine guns in here because we get plus one heat on these anyway. Um, so let's leave this off and we'll put in the two half tons of uh, heavy machine gun ammo. That's heavy rifle. Damn it. So much ammo now. Um, there we go. Yeah, let's go that route. It's not the best, but we're not losing any machine gun damage, which is good. And these things have already have uh, bonus heat damage anyway. We've only got 100 rounds, but that's okay. That's fine. Let's confirm this. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. All right, one day. One day and we can go. Job's done, Commander. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking of. It's just because they've changed the ammo. It's kind of throwing me for a loop sometimes. 
Okay, now we can do this. Fire starter out, crab in. Got a little bit more weight, so let's take this on. Deploy and get it done. Yeah, you say that, but I think we might be okay this time. Okay, here we go. So VIP's there, we've got to make our way up the hill. It's pretty straightforward. Unless we are in a position where these guys are really heavy. Uh, we're not going to do that. We're just going to kill everybody first and then rescue their, our person. Commander. Okay, Sunflower with renewed gun power. More accuracy. I'm receiving you. Comet, I'm interested to see this crab. Uh, you know what? It's not that fast, but um, interested to see how it's going to work out here. So we got both incendiary ammo and normal ammo. I'm probably going to pull out the LK, the bonus to hit ammo out of the uh, assassin. So rather than normal ammo, we'll have that. We'll have that. Wolverine's going to pull up here for a scout. See how we do on this one. I might shift to the proto double heatsink kit. Hmm. What do we got here? Raptor. Okay, we got lots. Well, not lots, but a bunch of raptor parts. Uh, I'm going to reserve. Bushwhacker. Yes, please. We need parts. S2C. S2C? Is that what it said? Oh, why do I not like that? Let's start laying some heat down on that guy. Actually, that crab's got pretty good movement. Let's see what our chance to hit here is. Wow. Uh, that's pretty damn horrible. Um, gonna leave the machine guns off for now. They have a chance to jam. Um, Inferno ammo. Yep, let's apply some heat if we can. Firing. Ah. 10 points, not bad. 10 points of heat, that is. And we probably burned up our stinger, really. Probably burned up our uh, recovery. I want to get too close. Let's get into here. And we're going to leave the mediums and the pulse, medium pulse off. Just go with the medium X pulses. Get down to the woods. Not quite eyes on. Wow. Let's just go this route, stay nice and cool. So the two ER mediums hit, that was nice. Apollo. I have no idea what the Apollo is. I'm sure I've faced it somewhere in the past, but I just don't know what it's got on it. Let's get into range here. See if we can push this guy back a little bit. Not hoping, not planning on a hit, but let's see if we can grab the leg. Just want to push him back a little bit. We can get out ahead of him. Yes, Commander. Um, which looks like we can. How aggressive do we want to be? Pretty damn aggressive, I think. Let's get eyes on. Just a regular whacker. Um. This is heat like. No idea. This is. F wait. Uh, eight shots. Let's just go with six. Um, yeah, this guy's running really hot. 
But we're going to... Uh, let's leave the plasma cannon off then for this turn. It does have a recoil, so let's just do this. 25 heat, not bad. So he's going on 17, which means we all go before him. Yeah, screw them. Don't forget to turn on the boomstick. That was a leg hit. Nice. It was. Beautiful. Tag, you're it. Tag, you're it, motherfucker. Where's Samuel L. Jackson when you need him? Or Wesley Snipes. Motherfucker, are you out of your damn mind? All right. Uh, let's get into here. And we're going to go off the other leg. He's got lots of armor. Everywhere. So we're not going to be afraid to dump this into him. I want to take as much of that leg off as we can. Uh, and go. Let's panic him a little bit, maybe. No? Unsettled? He isn't a good mech, so... Well, we almost stripped the leg of its armor. Sunflower is still coming up, though. She's got good targeting. I think the... If, correct me if I'm wrong, and I'm sure I am, but I think the Apollo is around 40, 45 tons. Watch it be like a 90-ton behemoth or something crazy like that. Uh, okay. What's up, boss? Nope, let's get within optimal firing range. Bing. Put three of these up. And let's target the leg again. Want to get those whacker parts and fire. The leg, the leg, the leg! I think I hit something good. Yeah, but we want the leg. Not the entire body, just the leg. You know, you're going to just... Oh, we almost got it. That should theoretically be machine gunnable. Theoretically. All right. Chunky missile, chunky missile spam. This guy shouldn't uh, have too much to do. Put 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 put. Nice try. Come on. What are you doing? Wh who's moving? Come on. <laughs> He's fleeing the interview. Oh, I thought for a second there he was going to turn his back to us. Yes, Commander. That guy goes on six, so it's a shame to waste all of our lasers on just a leg. So let's move over here, get some range on this raptor. Um, and wow, fire everything. All right, one hit to start. What's up, boss? Um. Just reserve for a second. Waiting for orders. Coordinates received. And we're gonna target this guy in the leg. And Infernal ammo is doing basically nothing damage wise, so we're okay with that. Machine gun ammo is doing five points, so that's plenty. Six rounds per. Let's fire. Right. Okay, there we go. Both legs gone. There's the stinger. I'm gonna go get eyes on. Unless he comes up and gives us eyes on. No sense in running. I don't want to overheat here. 
get a bit of stability back. And we're going to leave these two off uh, and fire the rest. He's going down. Fifty five tons. Okay, I was a little off. I think it's I think it's just solely a missile mech too. I'm trying to remember back to my Battletech days. Um, let's get on that Raptor. I don't think that um, Stinger is a threat at all. But this guy here, on the other hand. Not really a threat, but still, uh, let's just fire the tag. We gotta punch him, do anything to him, because that stinking ECM. Stinking ECM, he's gonna move next. I don't know, it's hard to tell if the uh, crab is any better heat wise. I mean the other thing we could do is rather than using the plasma cannon for heat or even the heavy machine guns for heat we could just I think we've got three uh, no we've only got two um, laser points so I think we could put two flamers in but I mean we could pull out uh, the SRM6 put another SRM4 in instead and then go with um, um, flamers Our, our A flamer, that is. Jesus Christ. Let's go this route. I copy. Okay, another hit. It's not bad. No, oh, he's still going. Solid connection on that one. I'm here. See what our targeting on this Apollo is like. Actually, that's pretty good. Let's run with this. And just gonna fire normally like this and see what we get. Um, that should have been a lot of heat. Time to warlord this, get some heat back. And let's not shoot that guy. Shoot this guy. Let's dump it all and fire. Okay, it's a start. Waiting for orders. All in air. Okay, I feel like we're gonna kill this raptor. We're really gonna have to uh focus on him. Let's do this. Oh, not the boomstick though. See if we can CT this guy. There we go. That's a kill. Guns off the field, man. Guns off the field. As long as we can see this raptor, as long as we have eyes on, Megasaur is going to have a good chance to beat the crap out of it. So three and a half skull, this doesn't seem to be... Like, unless they get reinforcements once we pop the uh, thing, but I doubt it. It's kind of a weak-ass three-and-a-half skull mission, if you ask me. That's two in a row now, two weak-ass. We've been getting a lot of weak missions. I think we should push more towards clan space now. We may have to uh, break our contract with Karita. I don't think they can really offer us anything in the faction store at the moment anyway. But if we break our contract with Karita, we could up our, our rep with the Outworlds Alliance. Ah, you're going to go all the way over there, are you? Ready for order. Let's see if we can get on this guy so we can see him. Just yep, okay, good. Oh, we got some shooting too. Everything into the side of this guy. Copy that. 
Nice shots, man. Target's taken a critical hit. Great start. Stand and bite. Let's get right up on this Apollo. Moving at full throttle. Yeah, I remember these guys. They're kind of like mini archers. Um, heat alert. Plasma mechanic comes off for now. Um, maybe not. Let's take the SRM-6 off. And going to go for heat damage here. So... Uh, you know, we're not doing too bad, ammunition-wise. I'm kind of shocked, but... 42 heat. Ah, uh, that's respectable, I guess. Let's see if we can get a back shot in this guy. Boomstick on. Here we come. Here I come. And... Ah, uh, we got a leg. At least he can't run from us. And a whole lot of nothing else. Got the tag on him though. <laughs> as ridiculous as this is, <laughs> I'm gonna go over here. Um, we're going to, uh, Vigilance give us a bit more initiative for next turn, but we're going to target this guy. Um, pulses have the worst chance to hit. So let's go this route. Let's see if we can... Yeah, let's go for the torso. Let's end this guy if we can. There we go. Now it's just the Apollo. He's gonna melee, is he? 39. Oh, not bad for 50 to 59 ton mech. Dreadnought. Crit. Yeah, that was a good hit. That was a good hit. Got it. Good hit. Don't know when this guy's going, but let's push him back a bit. Off to that leg. Oh, we got a hit. Wasn't expecting a hit, but we got one. Wow, like right on this guy. What's up, buddy? What is up? Let's try and get some salvage off this guy. And yeah, fire. Whoa, that was a lot of leg hits, but... Uh, I don't have to take him down. Let's see if we can shut him down. Probably not. Um, I think this is the best way to go, probably. And let's crank up the machine guns by one. And fire. Okay, we got the leg. 43 heat. Yeah, next turn. Affirmative. This guy's nice and toasty hot. Arms almost gone. He's got two medium pulse, LRM fifteen plus Artemis. Artemis ammo, nice. Let's see what he does. Per LRM fifteens and Artemis ammo on a uh, fifty five ton max. Pretty good loadout. Just not at point blank. Should carry some dead fire ammo. Okay. I'm here. See if you can shut him down. And we got a jam. Plasma cannon. Mm, it's a good chance to hit, so leave the pirate. Ooh. That's from six? There we go. I <laughs> missed with the plasma cannon. I think it's almost better to put two flamers on there. Although at 45 damage, it's really good against uh, overheating targets. 
the damage on that uh, plasma cannon is. Aye, aye. Um. Sure, why not? Let's go this route. Better chance to hit. And same idea. Leg. How much has it got left here? A little bit. I think that's probably going to be enough. But let's drop this on just in case and fire. There it is. Salvage. Alright, let's grab our uh, VIP and get the shoes out of here. Okay, Comet, you're up. All right. Ah, I was hoping for like he more heavy mechs and stuff, but the bushwhacker being there is a good, good sign. Got a chance to get a bushwhacker, which I would gladly drop the crab for. The asset has been secured. There it is, folks. All right, seventy-nine thousand should be for repairs, most likely, and pretty good. Uh, Experience again. That's excellent. The uh, dread, dreadnought gyro got damaged, but it's in integral, so it's easy to fix. Okay, I am going to take bushwhacker parts. I'm going to take four of them, and because I have no idea if this will give a uh, give us a bushwhacker or not. Normally, like I said, I wouldn't do this, but because I don't know which bushwhackers are which, this should give us a mech. I think. There's a lot of other good stuff down here that I like to take, but I think at this point it's probably priority to take the whacker parts. A lot of good stuff down here. A lot of void system. Oh man, this kind of punishment for taking the bushwhacker parts. But we're gonna do this. Okay, one, two Apollo parts. One, two, three, four, five. Five bushwhacker parts. Two Raptor parts. ER medium and a regular medium. A taser. Taser, really? Do we need ammo? We need taser ammo. We got LRM Artemis ammo. This is great. And another XL engine that we can sell. Excellent. Alright. So there's the bushwhacker. Nice. X1. I have no idea what's what with that one. Hmm. Hundred or oh, sorry, fifteen thousand four hundred. I thought it was one hundred fifty-four thousand there for a second. I was gonna say what? All right, let's have a look at that bushwhacker, man. We got the cash to get it fixed up too. Let's check her out. So I'm going to drop. I'm gonna drop the f well, yeah. I'm gonna drop the fire starter for now. We're working on getting another lance up and running, but we don't really have the mechs to do that just yet. But I want to use some of the components from. Firestarter and I think the Assassin, if I'm not mistaken, the uh, Rangefinder and stuff, I might move over. Um, we might turn it into a missile platform. So I want to take all this stuff out of here. So let's put them, let's put the Assassin in storage for now. And we'll leave the Firestarter out as a backup. But let's have a refit on this guy. It doesn't look like we got much here. It does not look like we got much. Oh, I'm wrong. AC 10. So let's fix it up. LRM FTL, faster than light, really? Uh, follow the leader missiles. Oh, those are kind of cool. So the, whatever the first one hits, the rest of them follow, I assume. Uh, so it's an LRM-5, half ton. E-cooling plus one, which is nice. Another XL engine in here, which is awesome. AC-10. So what are our hard points here? We've got four laser, four ballistic, and six missile. Yeah, man, we could do some stuff with this. Can definitely do some stuff with this one. I'm seeing a serum boat here, maybe, but we'll see. We don't really have a lot of LRMs, uh, but we do have. We have a lot of LRM Artemis ammo. We do have a lot of bonus SRMs, right? Um, we've got some on the crab too, so maybe we take. 
all the bonus damage ones and throw it on here. Don't have very many LRMs. So we're not going to turn it into an LRM boat, but it could be a close range brawler with just LR with uh, SRMs. We got SRM LK ammo and plenty of Inferno ammo, AX acid ammo. Um, we could just switch up what we use on which which loadouts or which launchers. Dedicate one launcher to uh, acid, one to Inferno, and then two to damage. That's a possibility. And then maybe we change the Wolverine around. Maybe we pull out the uh, the missile launchers off the Wolverine and put some heavier lasers in it or something. That's a possibility too. But let's confirm this for now. Uh, I'm going to strip everything off here. And we want to be max out the armor. What's that going to cost us? Not much more. So let's do that first. Um, and we can figure out the rest later. Let's just take a little bit off of the back here until we get down to there we go let's leave it like this for now let's confirm this 19 or 17 days cool so the next time we're back we're going to uh, get our mechs fixed take another mission which will be the next month um, and then we'll work on getting the bushwhacker back and maybe getting that up and running but let's have a look I don't think um there's anything here for us left to do? Not a lot, anyway. Uh, we're at a three skull planet. We might. I'll, I'll look for another planet we can jump to. Um, I don't necessarily want to go to a fully. Like here's Rise on Three Skulls, and this is a desert world. Another hot planet, but it's 15 days away. We got a travel contract available, so we can have a look and see what that is uh, next time. Uh, let's just have a look now real quick just to see if we're going to take it. Um, men of the people, probably not. 15 days to rise in, it's a four skull. As much as I'd like to take this, I don't think at four skulls anything can happen, right? So we're not quite ready for that yet. We're, we can poke at three and a half. Three, three and a half are definitely pokeable missions. Because um, we can always bail out if we had to. There's plenty of them still here though. Um, pirates babysitting their outpost raiding party federated sons yeah I think maybe we will well there is this one here too the general outworld alliance officer nah I got a feeling that's going to be like 9 mechs at least maybe 10 mechs I'm just going to shy away from that one, I think. As much as I want to take it, um, we'll leave it for now. Uh, so we're going to end the episode here. If you'd like to drop a like. Um, also, if you got any suggestions for, for Bushwhacker loadouts, um, drop them in the comment section below. I might be recording a second episode right after this one, so I might have already loaded it out by the time I read them, but that doesn't mean we won't switch it around. Um, so yeah, just uh, drop them in the comment section below. And until next time, we'll see you all later.